Anyways, so hi there. I'm here and you're there and you are watching another video. So I figured to update you guys on everything that's been going on within the last... Jesus, I just became a fucking sprinkler. A few weeks. It's felt like a month, um, but it's only literally been like two weeks. Um, so I have a... You want to be in the camera, mamas? I have had a chronic, like, disease that I've been dealing with for the past 10 years. Um, it's called, like, hydrogenitis slash fitula. So we're just going to call it hydrofitula. So it's where an abscess forms in the ungodly worst spot it can be, um, which is like a pocket of infection that, you know, swells up, forms, whatever the case may be. And it's attached to the fitula, which causes a lot of drainage and stuff like that, which has been one of my worst insecurities in the last few weeks as well. Due to the fact of like a few weeks back, me and my friend had went to, excuse you! Hey! Me and my friend had went to the gym a few weeks back and I was sitting there working out and stuff like that. And again, because of the location of where it's at, um, it was draining because I was putting a lot of pressure on there. And when I had got up, it looked like I had doo-doo myself, right? Like, it, like if so, if I seen that on somebody, I'm like, oh, they doo-doo themselves. You know what I'm saying? And my friend's trying, you know, calm me down saying, oh, no, they're probably just going to think it's booty sweat. <laughs> right. Um, what's not that? Um, so, um, I finally just got the balls and just went to the ER because it was causing a lot of discomfort within the last week. But I'm like, no, we need to get this solved because it's, I don't want it to get to the point of what it was before where, um, I could not move, I could not walk, I could not eat. And they said that if I would have, because I went to the ER, the very first time I've ever had this happen, I went to the ER on a Friday. And it told me if I would have stayed home through the weekend that the infection could have killed me. Y'all gonna have to take this infection out of me then. So we tried a new procedure this time and it's called, it was like a fitulotomy. And I'm not gonna really go into detail of explaining it, but um, so usually I am done after the gauze falls out or after I take the gauze out the day after surgery. Well, <laughs> that night, the gauze decided that it had a mind of its own and it just wanted to come out then. So the gauze had already came out Friday night. Mine, I had surgery on Friday. It was supposed to come out Saturday. So as long as I keep the area clean, that's that patty wet, give a dog a bone, we should be good. So this next step, this is, this is where the new procedure comes in the hand, is... Um, there's like a rubber band of some sort, just like sticking out god this is so bad <laughs> there's a rubber band just sticking out down there and it's to help that drainage like flow out and stuff like that um so that when it heals it heals with no infection i'm guessing that's the purpose of it i've done a little bit of research to kind of get some knowledge on it um but i mean it's been around since 19 something and it's been done to about 25 different pages pay, 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 patients and yeah so um that's been that's been a fun journey i'm i'm actually feeling a lot better like look i can move around and stuff girl i can shake this ass shake this ass ass shake this ass shake this ass shake this ass i feel that i am more centered now than before due to the fact of having these little scares and stuff like that every time i go to the er or every time i go through surgery um i always come out like lifted more um so that leads me into this week because I wanted to get back to work Monday because I work at Real Services because I do Meals on Wheels, you know, delivering to the elderly. Um, but for some odd reason, these spots, these bumps, I don't know what the hell they were, were just popping up all over my body. At first, I thought they were zits. I'm like, oh, God, it must be from like the IV. It must be from the hospital. It must be because of all this like drugs that they put me on. No. Um... And so, I think I come down with the monkey pox. Uh-oh. I know, gasp. Um, but the thing is, is like, I went Monday to go and get a test done, and they said that they won't have the results for three to five business days. Now, mind, I've already been dealing with these bumps since I've been dealing with the abscess, in a way. 
So, I don't need for these doctors to come and be like, oh, well, you tested positive and now you have to quarantine from this. No, I've already been quarantining. I've literally been quarantining since last week. So, and I've done some research when it comes to monkeypox, and they say that if the, like, you, you're getting scabs and new skin is healing, then, then you're pretty much, you're, you're fighting, you're the, the virus is pretty much done for. So as soon as all these scabs heal up, because I haven't had any more bumps pop up, as soon as these scabs heal up, bitch, I'm back out there. Because I also have a commercial shoe on the, uh, what, what day is that? I have a commercial shoe on the 15th that I'm not missing. Um, so it's to the point where I'm about to actually see if my friend has some oatmeal, because I guess they say oats bath helps with monkey pox as well. Um, and I, please understand, I am a clean ass fucking person. Take a look at my apartment. My apartment is clean. I am clean. I do not play. It's just my body is very sensitive to things. So obviously I've had to make some changes. I've switched, I've switched out my body wash to more of a sensitive skin. Um, I've been working out more. I've been smoking cigarettes less. Like when I say less, I mean, I've dropped dramatically to maybe like four a week five a week give or take um and i've also been trying to cut that out more by using the nicotine patches but i haven't put any nicotine patches on due to the outbreak that i've had so i've been trying to just keep everything down to a minimum um let's see what else what else is new besides that um oh hold that thought got a friend calling yellow Why you gotta go back? Oh, another thing. I did take down all my... I took down all my Halloween decorations all throughout my apartment. And now we have a clean slate for these Christmas decorations. I just don't know when exactly I want to put those up. Because it's only November 2nd. So we'll probably wait until the middle of November because everybody else is just already decorated. Like November 1st came and it's just like, boom, everybody just, boop, do I all the Christmas stuff out. Mariah Carey's even out. She defrosted. Um, Sorry, I got my friend on speaker for a little bit. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I had to retake my producing class because I messed up on a few forms that I needed signed. Like, they were signed, just not properly signed. So, that put, a, that put a month hold. So, like, technically now I won't graduate until February. But that's okay. That's okay because we're flying through this course because I know where I messed up on. So, we're turning everything in that's correct. And we're fixing everything that was incorrect and just go ahead and turn that in so that we're pretty much done with this class like bitch give me an a plus and let me move on <laughs> but let me let y'all go since i can I gotta talk to my friend i'm my, you know I'm, I'm, trying. I'm not even talking to you i'm talking to the camera but until next time much love be safe 